probability of Bernoulli random variables. We call a library R lab. Uh, it's called the library R lab. Now we write x. x is a variable that takes values. It's a sequence that is taking values like uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is a sequence that we are looking at. We want probability that first two failures and next three successes. Right? So D burn and then I write X which is defined as a sequence. Probability of success is 0.4 and I run this. I get the probabilities. The probabilities are 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. So if I do, obviously I know this that probability of 0 is 0 0.6 probability of this 0 is 0 0.6, probability of 1 is 0 0.4, this one is 0 0.4, this one is 0 0.4, that's what I got. So I know this, what I can perhaps do is I get the probability, uh, the product of probability prod d1 x comma 0 0.4 and I run this which gives me this useful number point zero two three zero four this is this is what is telling me that if this sequence is to occur the chance of occurrence of this sequence is point zero two three zero four if the probability of success is four and probability of failure is one minus four that is point six out the probabilities associated with binomial random variable. The binomial random variable follows a distribution function n c x p rest to x 1 minus p rest to n minus x where p is probability of success and x are the values of random variable. Now let's assume for this example that n is equal to 5 x takes the value 3 so we are interested in in three successes out of five and probability of success is 0.4 probability of success is 0.4 to get the probability of uh, three successes in five the order in which these successes are coming are not important this, the order is not important can be written as d binom the first value that we write is the value of x that is 3, size is 5 that is n and probability is 0.4. Now I run this and this is 0.2304. Now if you remember earlier we did uh, obtain uh, the individual trials probability uh, and that was 0 0.02304. Now if we do choose from 5, 3 and this is ncx that is 5c3, 5c3 gives us the answer 10 and the what we know the probability we are looking at one particular sequence, uh, the probability of one particular sequence is uh, product prod uh, say the sequence is two failures first that is 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 0.4 into 0.4 into 0.4 okay so this is what we are looking at this is 0 2 3 0 4 now if I put everything in bracket and multiply it by choose 5 comma 3 that is 5 C 3 and I multiply this then what I get now I'm running the this particular command choose 5c3 that is 
n c x that is 5 c uh, 3 that is uh, and this is probability of three successes this is a success this is a success and this is a success two failures in this particular order now three successes in 5 can come in n c x that is 5 c 3 possible ways so I'm multiplying this particular orders by all possible orders of 5 c 3 if I do that then I get the same value 0 0.2304